Hello friends, good evening. In this video, what we'll do is we'll see how to install a Windows 2019 server uh, in order to build the lab setup which I was discussing in this particular video. How to migrate the file servers using the SMS service. In order to set up the lab, I would need a couple of servers which I'm going to install today. In the first video, what we'll do is we'll see how to install and configure Windows 2019 server. Let's start. I'll log into the ESXA server. Here is my lab setup. And then let me create a virtual machine quickly. Custom SMS server cloud.com. I'll put it on SSD. And mine is on, running on the ESXS 6.0. So I'll, I'll take 11 hardware version. And I don't have 2019 here. So I'll just select threshold. It's normal desktops, also available CPU. I'll take 8 GB rather than K. Take on VLAN 40. Two next. I'll also see how to configure the next theming. Next. Next. Alright, hard disk. Thin provision. K. Continue, which I don't require. Let me mount the CD later on, and then I go to boot options. I'll see. I'll put some delay here. Okay. Finish. Okay. Let me see if I have the image available in the data store, so that it is easy for me to start building. Okay, it's not here. That's fine, no problem. Let me open console. Power on. Okay, escape. Let me go on mount from local disk. Okay, seven nineteen, and then. I'll start loading the image from my laptop. Gonna take some time, but we'll see uh, whether it is loading the files quickly or if it is taking time, then I'll uh, pause the video and then uh, once the installation is done, then we'll resume and go with the configuration steps. Okay, right. Next, install. Won't take much time to take this setup because I'm deploying on SSD. Yeah, like I said, activated one. Okay, custom, right? So, it's gonna take some time. So what I'll do is I'll pause the recording and then once the installation is done, then I'll resume once again. Nice. Okay, let me resume. Yeah, installation is about to complete and the system is going to reboot a couple of times and then We'll see what all the things that we need to configure once the system gets rebooted. Mm. Reboot now. Yeah, that's the thing. Let me come on and mount. I don't require the CD to be mounted anymore. May take a while. Okay.
what I'll do is in the next videos, I don't uh, record this stuff. I'll get the servers ready and then we'll proceed with the configura actual configuration steps which we're going to perform uh, on top of the servers. So that, that will save some time and we can have some nice videos as well. See, it's rebooted second time. Here you go. Once it is up, a little later, and then give some password. Okay. Coming up. Here you go. Right, your server is ready. However, I need to do some of these fine tuning or call it as steps. this let's install VMware tools quickly cause if you if you see this network adapters are not detected once we complete the VMware tools installation on top of this then probably you'll see that active adapters gets detected complete setup next install and also meanwhile what are this okay see it got detected oh yeah here you go On this local server if I want to download something over the internet, then that will be pain for me, so I'll disable this. And then remote desktop, let's enable it. Okay. Then restart is required, we'll do it in some time. And also, <coughs> remote desktop is already enabled, but what I'll do is I'll go to SMS server. As of now, we don't have any domain, so what I'll lose, I'll keep the server in work, work group. In the next video, what I'll lose, I'll install the domain controller and then configure the domain domain controller, and then I'll proceed and add this SMS server into that particular domain. Okay, let's click OK. Just close off. I'll do it later. So, uh, one more last step, nick teaming. Okay, nick teaming is disabled. Just click on nick teaming. Something is installing. Okay, finish it off. Now I'll do it later. Nick teaming is open up. So, I'll go to teams, new team, I'll put it on public. Select both advanced options, say address hash, done. So I'll just close this off and then go to network adapters. See, it's getting detected, and I know that the server is on VLAN 40, so 40.2. Eight forty dot one. Let me go back. I'll reserve two for domain controller, so I'll say three. 
So. That's good. Let's do 168 40.2, which I don't have at the moment, but once it is up, so automatically that will act as a name server for this. Okay, yes. Close this off. And then close. Close everything. Let's restart one more time. Okay, let's come up from the console. And then that be 192.168.40.3, right? Once the server is up, Okay, server is up. Let me connect. Some server. Here we go. The server is ready, and then we'll have to proceed with the rest of the configurations. So. Uh, have some patience on this video and next coming videos I'll, I'll skip this installation steps and then I'll proceed with the what, what actual steps that I need to perform uh, in order to configure the domain controller, configure the file server and then can set up set up the admin center and the other tasks. So I will stop here and this has got completed. In the next coming videos you'll see how to configure the rest of the environment and then do the testing as well so all right i'll stop here thank you